I remember when I was ready to start dating again after a three years um, break that I took so that I could focus on myself and get my acts together and all of those things. You know, I decided the kind of man that I wanted to marry. I wrote down what I wanted in this man and um, I started visualizing him. I started visualizing what I wanted. I made sure I thought about it day and night. Before, I, when I wake up in the morning, I close my eyes, I imagine what I wanted. When I want to sleep at night, I did this every day for as long, you know, before it came to pass. And because of this, that's how the, that's how the law of attraction works. That's how visualization works, you know. And because of this, I had four different men approach me. So it's not just about, you need to start going out. You need to start mingling. In fact, two of these men, I didn't go out to meet them. They came to my DM, you know, to just not ask me for a date or anything, just to comment, you know, tell me how they appreciate my work and stuff like that. And, you know, we became friends. Before you knew it, they expressed their interest. These two people flew in from two different countries to see me, not once. You just to tell you how the law of attraction works, how visualization worked. And when I eventually settled for my husband, Teddy, you know, he was a lot about what I wrote down, you know. And after a while, you know, things were not happening like I, pre like I thought it would. And we broke up for seven good months. Seven good months. Brethren, I never stopped visualizing my wedding day i never stopped you know visualizing my 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 life with my husband i did not know at the time whether i was going to be teddy or not but i just i i just i did not allow the reality of my life affect my vision here i didn't re, i didn't i did not allow what i was going through at the moment you know affect what i had here you get this is why this is how a lot of people miss it in visualization you know um you know men has come because somebody has broken your your heart or things are not going the way you plan ah men has come or because your business failed ah more, more business in nigeria i beg i beg i beg the moment you start this negative talk or self-talk you have killed your desire the moment you start talking negative, you have killed that your burning desire. This is how one of the things I did to get married. And I'll be sharing a lot more with you. If you want to learn these things, you know, to, you know, get a husband, get a child or children, get um, businesses, get more money. Um, it's the same formula. It's the same formula. You must never allow whatever you're going through presently to determine or spoil your vision. Never. You can mourn, you can cry, you can be sad for a while. But then you go back to that vision. And that's what I did. So it wasn't surprising to me when Teddy came back after seven months. I was not surprised at all. Because I, I didn't know if he was going to be the one eventually. But me, I never stopped seeing my wedding day. I never stopped imagining it. I never stopped thinking about it. And I never stopped preparing for it. That's another thing I'll tell you in another video. So guys, sign up for the School of the Mind. This is what I'll be teaching you there. Bye for now.